learning something very important we're going to be learning how to highlight remember the bible was written to teach us how to live life to remind us of god's promises to instruct us so that we can live the best that god has planned for us on earth so today we're going to learn how to highlight messages promises and commands using three major colors in our bible red green or yellow red green or yellow so this is what happens now first you go to your uh super book then you click on the bible when you click on the bible let's just say today i want to read psalm 91 and i clicked on psalm 91 and i ticked and this is psalm 91 so while i was reading i just found out a place where god gave me a very strong promise he said he will rescue me from every trap that is a promise so i click on it and then you can see the options down then the a button you click on the a button and colors appears and then you click on green so anytime you see a promise from god you can see me doing the second one i clicked on the a and then it popped up and i clicked on green so anytime you're reading the bible and you see a promise what do you do you stop and you click on it and then you highlight it with green you highlight it with green. You use green for promises. Do you know the beautiful thing it does for you? Now, when you want to pray, you will say, God, you said in your word, God, you promised me. All you have to do is go to your Bible app and see everything that you have highlighted with green. And that is a promise. You will say, God, you said to me, God, you said to me, then you give him back his words. So anytime you're reading the Bible and you see any promise, you're going to click it and highlight it with green now today i want to read somewhere else and i decided um i'm going to read leviticus so i click on leviticus okay because i want to learn a few commands and instructions and i clicked on leviticus and when i clicked on leviticus it took me to leviticus i clicked on 19 and i'm reading now remember the bible has so many things you have to pick one or two things in a day that you want to remember okay so i clicked on it i'm reading it right now and i got to this particular place where i'm thinking oh god is giving me an instruction he said when you harvest your crops on your land i'm like this is good so i clicked on it and i'm clicking on red so whenever you see a command what you click on you use red to highlight a command whenever you're reading the bible and you see a command now this says do not steal so i clicked i clicked on it and it's giving me a highlight and what happens i clicked on it a color appears and i clicked okay and i'm still reading i'm still reading for the day and then i saw another command oh it says i should not insult then i clicked on the a remember is the a button when you click on the a button the colors appears and you click so now i've clicked on all the commands that god wants me god wants me to remember so i now stay and i start thinking about all of the commands i start thinking about all of the commands that is the only way you're going to remember. So don't just read the Bible in a hurry. No. So that is it for command. And then now, another day, I'm reading Genesis. You know we're all working on Genesis, right? So I'm reading Genesis chapter 2. You can see I already have a place highlighted. That is yellow. Now you use yellow to highlight when there is a message. Now God is not commanding me here. God is not giving me a promise. But God is actually teaching me a lesson. A lesson. Remember, the lesson is to instruct us how to live life. So when you're reading the Bible, always watch out for lessons. When you're reading the Bible, always watch out for lessons. It's important. So what do you do now? You click. When I click on it, I want to start thinking about it. What lesson is God trying to teach me here? God is trying to teach me something about placement. So I, I click on it and I go to my note. Remember, you must always have a title. You must always have a title for your note. You must always have a title for your note, okay? It is very, very important to have a title. So I give it a title and then I go now and I start writing the lesson that God taught me about that particular passage. So I go ahead and I write because I don't want to forget it. Remember, your Bible reading is not complete without writing on your note. So this is my note. This is what I've learned today. This is the lesson that God has taught me. So it is very important you take down notes. That is the only way you can remember. So you can see it again, yellow. Yellow, you use yellow when you want to highlight a lesson 
or a message, something important that you learned. Yellow is not used for command. It's not used for promise. You use yellow when you see something that you just like. Oh, this is a message. I don't want to forget this message. Say you click and then you highlight it with yellow. It is very, very important. Remember, your Bible reading is not complete without you highlighting. The Bible was written to instruct us, to teach us, and to remind us of God's promises. It's very important. And anytime you learn a strong lesson, I want you to pause. You pause, you click on it, you click on the note version, and then you start taking your notes. It's very, very important. Very, very important. Now we're becoming Bible scholars. We're becoming Bible scholars, and we can do this so well using the digital device. Now, this is me again writing out my note. Writing out my note. So it's very important. We want to see your notes. Okay. Now you can see for everywhere I made a note, you can see I have a note sign. You can see I have a note sign. Now we're becoming Bible scholars. So whenever you make a note, whenever you see a note sign, you go and click on it so that you remember. You On Wednesdays during our research, you go and click on your notes so that you can remember all the notes and all the things that God has taught you. It is very, very, very important. Yellow is for messages. Yellow is for messages. Yellow is for lesson learned. Red is for command. And green is for promises. Now, something else we have to do, again, it's not just about writing them down. You click and you go to my stuff. When you go to my stuff, now you can see my notes. So you click on my notes and then you see all the notes that you've been making. It is not just enough for you to make the notes. Every Wednesday, you click on my stuff and then you see all your notes and you start thinking about it. You open it and you start reading it again so that you can remember all of the notes you have taken.